Hey everyone, it's Jody here, your Wednesday host for FT Real M, and I hope everyone's having a good week. I'm having a decent week dealing with my friends' minor breakdown, mental breakdown over an exam that was today, so I had to deal with her last night. And then um, it's midterms week, so that's why there's like a whole lot of stress going on around here. And I just get to mellow out, work on my own papers this week, because I had a lot of stuff that I had to do last week, so that's kind of nice. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and jump into this week's topic, which is discussing our first memories of our trans experience. And so, um, ever since I can remember, which is like five, six years old and a little bit younger than that, um, I was always really dead set on hanging out with the boys, doing things the boys did, regardless if I was in a dress or not, because my mom was really hardcore on me having really long hair and wearing a dress. And so I would get on my dirt bike and go r trail riding with my friends and playing in the dirt with my trucks in a fucking dress, in a pink dress. It was really ridiculous. And then um, about third grade, my mom kind of let me wear what I wanted to wear. So I typically wore jeans, t-shirt, or like kind of girly outfits with pants and a shirt. Um, and then I had really long hair still. My mom refused to let me cut my hair because she was dead set on like, girls have long hair, boys have short hair kind of mentality. She's old school. And in third grade, and even around this time, um, third grade I wanted, I tried out for a play and I wanted to be the boy cat in this play. Well, that didn't happen, but, um, they did allow me to play a turtle, which I guess was didn't really specify the gender of the turtle, so that was kind of nice. So I did that. And then whenever I was um, playing pretend with my friends, like playing house or anything like that, um, I was never the mom in any way, shape, or form. Sorry, there's like a glare going on. Holy shit. Um, and so I never wanted to be the mom. I always wanted to be the dad. And if I... And if... So I had, like, really girly friends, and so they played the mom, and I played the dad, and that was just how it was. And then when I got to, like, middle school, junior high, high school age, um, I started meeting a few people off the internet um, as a guy, and then I stopped talking to them because I didn't want them to find out that I was actually born a female. And then... Um, after those few experiences, I stopped doing that because I felt that I was, I was just being really unsafe about the situation, and I didn't really understand why I was doing this. Like, there was a reason, but I didn't have the, the language or the definitions to, to express how I really felt. I just knew that I didn't identify um, as, like, a lesbian. And so I just kind of identified as myself, and... I never really let people put me in boxes, but if they needed to, then, like, they... Oh. So, anyway, so I typically allowed people to put me in a box themselves that I never actually put myself into when I was in high school. But a lot of my friends were actually really cool. My Some of my really good friends, especially my best friend, um, I did have a girlfriend in high school for a little while. And I remember telling her, and I really couldn't explain to her why I felt this way, but I told her that I wasn't a lesbian, but I had a girlfriend, and that I didn't, I didn't feel like I was gay or anything like that, I just had a girlfriend, and that's just kind of how it was, and she didn't really care, and we kind of rolled with it, and then I went to school in Oregon, and I've talked about this a little bit in my other videos, is that I met my first trans woman, and then I asked her, like, so many questions about her experience, and her transition and those type of items. And then that's when I got online and I started doing a lot of research of my own. And I met a lot of trans guys through Live Journal. If you don't know what Live Journal is, it's a blog kind of website. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people, I think some people still use it, but I don't use it anymore, even though I've never actually deactivated my account. So my blog is still out there on in the interweb of space. There's like this funkiness going on with my computer. All right, sorry, yes. And so um, I started doing a lot of networking, and then I decided that I wanted to join the military, but I couldn't be, I couldn't transition while in the military. And so I had a lot of online support um, from the few groups that I was in on Live Journal, and they said it, you know, I was having a conflict, and they're like, "Well, it doesn't make you any less trans for you to postpone your transition to do something that you really want to do." And so that's what I ended up doing, and. 
Um, I don't ever really regret that, but that's kind of the overall view of my transition, or my trans experience, sorry. So if you guys have any more specific questions for me, or any other questions, um, go ahead and hit me up down below, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I will see you next Wednesday. Peace.